A bill in Lansing could bring education on organ, eye, and tissue donations to Michigan schools. News 8's Demetria Sanders joins us live in studio with more on how the bill would work and who it would impact. Well, leaders with Gift of Life Michigan, the state's organ and tissue donor program, say the number of new drivers signing up to be donors is lacking compared to several other states. Now, by possibly requiring this education in schools, they hope it could help more young drivers make the best decision for themselves. In Michigan, 57% of adults, or 4.5 million people, are currently organ donors. But as for new drivers, that number isn't keeping up. In fact, only 21% of new drivers register as organ donors. Other states have 40, 50, 60 percent. Wells O'Brien says he doesn't believe it's because Michigan teens are less generous, but instead they're lacking info about being a donor. No new driver in the state of Michigan gets any information about the organ donor registry question before being presented with the question at the Secretary of State. There's now a push to change that. This week, House Bill 5174 went before the Michigan House Education Committee. The bill would require Michigan public schools to offer at least one hour of donation-related education to ninth graders. So that every single person has the same information to make an informed choice. If passed, Wells O'Brien says the legislation won't cost the state nor schools. Gift of Life Michigan is prepared to be in the schools with our program to accommodate this educational need. Uh, we can be there in person or we have a turnkey program with a video and discussion materials for schools to do this on their own. And with over 2,400 Michiganders waiting for an organ, he says education could be the difference in saving lives. People die every day tragically. The only difference between someone who, uh, an unavoidable death and an unavoidable death that leads to a life-saving organ transplant is someone saying yes. Now, I also reached out to the Michigan Department of Education, who says they support the bill as written. They added that the legislation encourages students to have a conversation with their parents or guardians prior to visiting the Secretary of State's office for their driver's permit. The bill also does allow parents to opt out. Sue.